all the reviews we have taken okay uh, let's take like how phone records and all like companies on the telecommunication companies works right okay let's take phone call and just taking like some random data okay so let's take some names uh, let's take So, like throughout the week, uh, let's take a random example from like one person. How many calls we are getting? Okay. So let's say the calls like uh, zero on Sunday, seven, four, nine, uh, five, six, two. Like kind of any random example. Okay. Let's take it. So I'm taking some random names. Let's take one, two, three, four, five minutes. So fine, that's it. Okay. Okay. So the call will be data fair. Let's say I only made with the DF. I can make set index or something like we have discussed on the last day or otherwise you can write index column as the days or basically the index as the days if you want okay so i'm making it as the days right and this is the phone calls so let's see the df and it looks like these are the days and these are the data set right this is the names over there having the values right now if we like go through all the things yeah anyone can tell me like we'll be using this today in the data sets like if i want to see the maximum today you guys would be answering with me okay the maximum number of calls uh from let's take anyone let's say maximum number of calls uh, from lipson how will i find it answer quick anyone Max number of calls from Lipson. Eight. Like okay, that is an answer. Like what is the code we have to write? Just quickly. DF dot max. DF dot max. You want something like this running in there. So with the lips and we get our like okay, this could be a good answer, like nice one. DF dot max is something where you can get every of the columns greatest values. Okay. But I want only the lips and then what I have to do is just adding something more that is df dot Lipson dot max that is it okay clear all right now if you are asked like uh, what was the day 
when supreme called for the long number of time or more number of time okay like the number greatest number of times satyam called what will be the result df dot satyam dot max that will be the result max will be having the value of 9 now what was the day of that so where does this 9 comes this comes on wednesday from here the data set i can see this comes on wednesday but when you want to find the index value with your column we'll be using a function called as idx max that is index maximum value so we'll run this and we'll get that wednesday was the day okay clear everyone i can just write it like df dot system dot at you can check it like on the wednesday okay or you can just write df at on wednesday for the system column has nine number of calls okay that's it or you can just write like df dot locate all the calls made on wednesday sorry it is v e t so this will be the answer And the more, more interesting thing like uh, you can make something like df dot sort the values we have to do with this function sort values by so let's say for the second okay i'm asking the greatest number if so. so if i run this one what you'll see the last value will be the greatest See, every of the other column will be as it is. Only the column Satyam will be in the ascending order because I am using the sort values by Satyam column only. Right? So you can see Sunday, Saturday, Tuesday, Thursday, any, no, no such, um, you can see, like, order has been maintained. Right? So every other row will be in a random way, but only the column we are sorting will be done like this. Right? So we want the greatest to be. The value what we are searching right so we can make ascending equals to false okay and then we can go for the first one so we can find like if we write ascending equals to false that means the value will be in the descending order previously it was in the ascending order right and then we can go like we want only the top one because the top will be in the first right so we can get with the satya column easily like this okay and transposing any uh, data frames would be like df dot t so names will be in the site days would be in other side and that is like values okay and if, if you want like in this in this state like if you want uh, in the transpose like if i want to see the total calls made by satyam throughout the week what will say that dot locate satyam that's it so these are the calls or otherwise we can just say it like this option like this in kind of a series sunday zero and all these things okay now sometimes when you need all rows and some columns from a data set how will you find that we'll say like let's say all rows and some columns for now so i'll just say df dot locate now if i'm having all rows uh, sorry uh, if you want some uh, like all columns and some rows let's say or all rows let's go with that so all rows means everything okay that is starting from everything just a call and ending on some columns let's say you want columns from only sunday to wednesday let's say so we'll just say sunday to wednesday or if you want a random one you can make randoms too okay so we'll run this and sunday is having an error just a second hmm. 
what is the error? Key error. Okay, space has been taken. Columns. What is the DF having a column? All right. Let me take a look at that. Columns are not the Sunday and all. Let's make it like. Hmm. What is DF? Okay. Columns are all these. So let's do one thing. DF transpose. Okay. So transpose looks like this, okay. So from here we'll be taking everything from the Sunday to let's say Wednesday. So we get the things here like this, okay. From Sunday, every every row and some of the columns. Now if you want some uh, some row some columns or some rows. And all columns. In that case, we can make it df underscore trans dot locate, and we can make like from Satyam to uh, let's say till Lipson and every column. We get things. Okay. Now, if you want some specific rows and specific columns. Sometimes we need some specific rows and some specific columns. Let's say going for Satyam on Wednesday. Okay. So we'll make it like we want to go with the Satyam. On Wednesday, like this. None of the index Wednesday. Capital might be maybe this could be the issue. Yeah. Okay. So like two rows, one column. So Satya Man Sahil on Wednesday, like that. Or let's say not only Wednesday, you want also for the Sunday. Like this, understood. Everyone done having issues. Let me check the chat box. No doubts to anyone. To the next data set, IPL data sets. Let's load it. So let's get first the info or we are getting that we have totally 636 entries starting from 0 to 635 data columns are total 18 serial number season city date team 1 team 2 toss winners decision result DL applied then the winner and if the team wins then how many by runs how many by wickets man of the match venue first empire second empire and last is something we don't need, okay. That is unnamed basically. So let's have a look on the sample of the data set. So this is like something. So get a small one, yeah, that's fine. So this is a season of 2017. City is there, 6 5 2017. MI versus DD. 
Thomas Winner was DD, Match Miller was MI by 146 runs, and Man of the World, Leonard Simmons. Okay, this is something which we don't need actually, the last column. So let's copy this and delete the F of this. All right, now I will not find the last column. See, that will be only the second empire. The last one will be deleted. Okay, next. So what is the shape of this data set? We'll get by this 636 rows and 17 columns so the first question comes how many season data we have in the data set how many season data we have in the data set so how will find the df dot season first of all so we have 636 so do we have 636 seasons in the ipl now right so we need the season size first of all we have 636 right out of that we need a specific seasons that is uh, we don't need all the seasons basically right so it would be like uh, df dot season dot the unique values and then we have been asked how many season data, right? So that will be so we have 636 season total in the data set, okay? Basically, the total values, and these are the seasons that is we are having from 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and until 17, we are having so total 10 seasons data we are having in this data set, okay? Now matches played in the respective years if the questions has been asked. How many matches were played in respective 10 years? We can give this data just by giving it a value or like giving it just a graphical value something like that. Okay, so we'll just say that Plot a figure in the matplotlib. So the data what we are going to do is df, okay, and I'll take orange color. And let's look the map. Okay, so this says that 2013 has got the maximum number of matches. However, over than 80, I think. Okay, so let's see it like exact numbers. How we'll get the exact numbers? That is df dot the season dot value counts. So the season values will be saying that how many number of matches we have. So it says 2013 is having 76. Okay, near around 80. 2012 has got 74 matches and so does the things are there, okay? Right. Now, so what are the cities where the matches has been played? I'm not able to open any of the data sets. You download it and then open it. it might I downloaded be it, sir. I saved it on the desktop. Mm, then what's the problem going there? Then what is it saying? Yeah. It is saying file not found error. File not found. Is it yeah. uh, happening with everyone? Yes, yes. Netflix, IPL salaries, every everyone. Okay. Any other student happening the same thing? 
can you anyone who can download everyone is having issues You guys don't say anything. One is saying no. Arsha is saying there is no fight. Oh God. Just a second. I've shared the link again. Check it. So you guys are not practicing, I think. For those who are not saying anything. You guys haven't looked onto the data sets. Alright, fine. Hmm. So what were the cities where the matches has been played? Okay, so first we'll look on that what are the columns we are having. Where is city? City is there. Okay, so df dot city dot values. Oh, we have a lot of cities. How many cities are there? Thirty-one cities, unique cities, if you call us. Thirty-one cities are the unique cities. So let's see what are those unique cities. Hmm. And if we see the maximum number of uh, like counts for the cities, then the top ten cities, if we focus on that, then it would be a DF of this city the value count so we have all this 31 cities nice and we need only the top 10 so we have Mumbai at the top having 85 matches till 2017 then we have 66 for this and all these things so okay, nice uh, if we can like plot this on a, in a graph let's see if we can So we get a graph. What graph is there? What is that value? 80. What is this? 80. Mumbai, Bangalore, Chandigarh, Kolkata, Jaipur, Port Elizabeth, Johannesburg. All these cities are there basically. Right? If you want only 10 cities, you can take only 10 cities data like this if you want only that. Okay, it depends on like what you make. All right, next. Let's see what are the teams. Participating in the IP. So this could be DF dot. IPL, uh, sorry, team one. So we get six thirty six teams because every team goes, uh, every team get a chance to play with the second team, right? Uh, the other team basically. 
so we can take any column team one or team two basically every will be having any matches between them right so dot unique values so we have kkr csk rr midc and all these things all these are the teams which has been playing for the past 10 years okay so which team has got win or which team has won by the most number of matches uh, most number of runs so we'll write question as the team won by most number of runs i will find that we'll say df dot the columns again let's see the columns first of all so win balance so df dot win by runs dot idx max because we need the index maximum value where the index is having the maximum value on that column and that index will be giving us the result so it gives 620 okay so if it is 620 then let's locate this locate this 620 index location sorry so we have the 621st match on okay this was the only the match what we got in the sample in the sample we got something like this yeah this was the result so this is the match of mi versus dd and we have gone through this okay where the mi has won by 146 runs in the last 10 years okay the same question team won by most number of tickets same df dot win by wickets dot idx So 12 and again a match between MI and okay, DC. So DC was the winner and oh, 1 by 10 wickets. Nice. Okay. Next looking up. Was there any DL applied to any matches so now the matches where the DL was applied so you want to look at there okay so let's see how many matches were there So 623 matches were not applied and 13 matches are there where the DL was applied. So let's see what are those matches. So we find matches between DD, XIP, and all these things where the matches where the TL was applied and the matches were on all these. Now you can uh, go on more details like uh, what you want, okay? Whatever you think, you can go with yeah. more details with that. Okay, next. And which team has got or which team is performing the best in the last 10 years which team has won the maximum times in the last 10 years so winner will be giving us a result at which team has won most number of times in the last 10 years any matches not only the finals any number every matches specifically right so team won for maximum time for 
would be df dot winner dot value counts for, for c so we have mi for 92 times csk for this much times and all so we want exactly the first one so that is mi which is having for 92 times so obviously the best performing team will be mi right the graph would be for the mi graph would be better for the best performing team if we go for that okay and for the best player if we want to find that best player so for the best player how we'll find man of the match goes with the best player throughout the 10 years who has been for the most number of man of the matches we'll find df dot mm. man of underscore match so we have all these values dot unique how many are there Two hundred two man of the matches. Nice. All names are quite very nice. Okay, so which has been the most brilliant one? I will go for the top five first of all. Chris Gale for 18 times, YK Patan for 16, David Warner 15, David Ayers 15, and Rhyna for 14. Nice. Until 2017, it does something. Okay, and the least one. Last minus five from there. Shoei Bakhtar, Zampa, Shishant, and Koreda Chunumala. Perfect. So these are the things, alright. And more details if you want, you can go through the things. You can get a graph of all those things. Okay. Tomorrow we'll be starting Seaborn. And so, like, simultaneously we'll be going with the sea the mad plot lib also okay so c bond will be the tomorrow topic we'll be going with that okay and let's go with some of the things in the c bond from, from now okay let's cut it with 10 minutes okay so c bond is a package where you'll be going with uh, like uh, it is a graphical package which gives you uh, advanced uh, presentation for your data what you owe the basics we need matplotlib there we uh, use to present our 1d 2d data 3d data and for more uh, like customizations and all we use c bonds then we get more nice kind of things right what we have done till whatever i have used here for now today all, all i have used with the c bonds okay we'll be understanding what are those things okay so in c bond you get some lot of free data sets to work on okay now to see all the data set, um, data set names present in the c bond we use a function called as get data set names okay that is important so uh, basically that is function name is uh, let's say so the thing is you have to import it as c bond as sns okay and then you can write sns dot get underscore of data set underscore names so I'm printing for now. So you'll get it here. So you have all these data set names: anagrams, anscoms, attention, brain networks, car crashes, diamonds, exercise, flights, IRS data set, MPG. These are the big data sets. Okay, Pips, Titanic, and all. We'll be going with the IRS. We'll be going with the Pips. We'll be going with the Titanic. We'll be going with the 
mm, where is that flights and all okay so let's select look on how you will be loading any data set yes. for loading any data set you have to just write load data set even if it is not in your uh, you can say hard disk or when your pc or on laptops you can just make it download from there so let's say if i'm making the tips one if i'm loading the tips one i make it like sns dot load data set and let's say tips that's it you don't need to write dot csv any other one nothing okay and you say df dot tips dot sample of file and we get it here so you can google and you can see all the data set what exactly it consists of okay and what are the things in the data sets going up you can see what data set exactly have okay then we have some figure styles which gives uh, a more styling to the interface okay so the interface are like the normal graph kind of thing you can say if you get an interface in the background section like white black white gray dark how the background could be you can see on okay so we, we get we say it has to be figure style all right so what are the sides we are having we are having white these are the basics let's cover today okay and we have white grid we have dark grid you can run one by one and you can see what are these things these are ticks okay and we have the function writing as set style that's it if you want to set white you just write white that's it these are the things okay so let's say i'm making a basic normal graph so np dot range 1 to 10 b would be the sign of this a c would be the cause of this a mm. and okay so uh we'll leave the c leave the c just have a sign graph like that okay so if i say to plt dot plot what is plt at top of the matplotlib okay so plt plot a and b basically in the x we are having the values in the right we are having the sign graph values and i'll say that set the style to white grid run this and see we get the values okay let me say set the style to text We're getting something like this okay so these are the backgrounds basically say set things to the dark uh, no like this yeah the dark okay understood and again yeah dark grid okay like this these are the things basically text basically i'm um, talking about okay then you have all these excess you understand what are excess right so excess styles can be given as like print sns dot excess styles uh remove this Just a second, yeah. So these are the excess styles, okay. White excess grid equals to true. Sometimes you'll be using this all excess grid equals to this, 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 and all, okay. Then you have some color petlets. Color petlets are something like mm, color petlets are like SNS. Yes, let me write it. I have to do an error to get the all names and I'll tell you what exactly it is <laughs> so
yeah that's what so you make an error you get the correct values these are the things okay so all these are the color patterns and you'll be like i'll be giving what exact is color pattern See, uh, sometimes uh, in the above area, I have used color equals to orange like this. Okay, so uh, all these colors, what you can see, these are basically the parents, different different colors. So all have uh, different colors. What I have written here till here, S N S N R blue blue R R mean reverse. Okay, so all these are the things. All right. So you will see like how it works basically. So the method of writing this platelets are sns dot the color palette, okay. And then uh, by default palette are always none. That's why I, I wrote none there, okay. And this n colors what I wrote there is the number of the colors you want, and by default it is also none. And dsat is nothing but their desaturation value, and this is always like true because values goes like dark, light, 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 and totally light. Okay, this is something. And what do you get a numpy array of RGB colors? This is R, G, and B again, R, G, and B values. Okay, now these values are basically the color values. So, if you want to print all these color values, let's see what it comes. So, if you say this color palette. And to print this values, we need a function called as uh, sns dot color palette, right? And a function called as pal plot. Okay, let's see it. So sns dot color palette, and let's say if I'm saying my palette is equals to Mm, let's say any color let's say oranges what we have used in the previous one oranges okay and I say the n colors is equals to true and the d set okay not true sorry n colors let's say to be 3 okay and the desaturation value to be as none Sir, what is desaturation value? You'll see now I'll, when I print. You'll see if I say it has to be five, and I will print it. SNS dot pal plot of CR PL mm, color. Okay, spelling it. So what do you find it? The colors, what you can see, is like in not in a complete format. Right? So what if I write some desaturation values? Will I get something else? No. Okay. It will increase the colors, then you'll get it there. Mm, Ten. All right. Okay. Understood. So the values will be like uh, desaturation. You understand, like uh, what you can say. Saturation. You understand what is saturation? Where it is? Where he has gone? Saturation. You understand? Mm, how can I see you? Like. If you like go through the going with a deep to light or light to deep, you can say on a kind of a theme. Uh, anyone who knows the easy meaning for a saturation, uniform, uniform, uh, okay, kind of. 
So maybe it is absorbing from minimum to maximum level. Hmm. Yeah, this would be better. This one could be better. Yeah, you can say this. Okay. So it, what if we don't write anything? Let's see. First of all, if we don't write anything uh, for what? When we are writing colors, then it's okay. Like when we are not writing anything, in that case, you will get no desaturation specifically. Right? So desaturation only works when you write a specific colors. Even if it is true, if you are not writing any color, then a lot of colors will be coming, right? So no uh, higher value, no lower value will be coming up there for that case. Okay? Understood. So see, any random colors are there given up. All right. Now, if I say desaturation is equal to none, so what if there is any difference? No. But what if I take any color palette name? Let's say we take this, say, smick, copy it, paste it, run it. See, desaturation values comes. From here it is coming in a lower one, from here it is coming in a lower one. I understood. Understood. All right. Moving ahead, you will go in detail, right? <laughs> and like if I say just without writing all these, if I just say SNS dot, so these are the numpy array, what you are getting here, okay? And all these are basically the R, G, and B the formats, okay? So we'll say the pal plot, again the spelling error, okay? And if I just only write SNS dot, plot the color palette by default you will get six colors okay so let's try it. Vistia let's make one of my favorite one it's actually nice yeah better okay so ahead from this we'll go from tomorrow we'll be going in detail right Let's see a final graph and from tomorrow we'll be going with the data sets from the C bonds and we'll be exploring it like that. So let's say if we have from here one, two, three, four, let's say four, and the Y, two, four, six, and eight. Okay. So if we're plotting a graph, X and Y, I'll label it as Uh, L A B E L and this is let's say X like on the X versus Y and if I'm plotting a graph with Y versus X then I will write a label of Y and I will plot a legend legend you understand right what it is as a legend a kind of a labeling you get in the plotting so I'll let you know what is the legend so I see a graph where I can see this is the legend okay x and y what it's giving a symbol okay this is a legend so this is a graph and see the format what you have used in the starting will be kept forever like until and unless you change it the set style it will be there as it is set style equals to dark grid so all the values will be coming in the dark grid so you can change it like after giving a set style equals to something or something okay these are the things. So tomorrow we'll be going in much detail. All right. I'll stop this.